title of this writing is Thimble and Ocean. The phrase know thyself has been a guiding light since it was first uttered way back when by, I think, Socrates. It serves as a reminder to discover more about ourselves, but which self? Let's pretend there are two selves, Thimble and Ocean. Thimble is the one we spend the most time getting to know, and Ocean is the one that knows us. Thimble has a small capacity. Ocean is unfathomable. Thimble is the content of our head. We spend most of our time with very limited content, expecting to make huge discoveries. The arithmetic doesn't work. Staying inside our thimble is a time management problem. The more time we spend there, the fewer results we get. Then, when we can't get results with our head, we may seek help from another and let them poke around our thimble. This, as you may expect, also has limited results. We spend just about all of our time attempting to know our thimble without exploring our depth. It's valuable to know our personality, preferences, and patterns, but you can only go so deep in the inflatable pool known as our thimble. Exploring the ocean will let us know more about the unknowable, ourselves. You're deeper than a thimble, but you have to get out of your head to know this for sure. One swim in the ocean may bring you back a thimble full of information, but a daily dip will have you swimming in knowledge about you. Here's the rub. You can't swim in the ocean if your thimble is full. Here's the answer to know more about you. Find a way to empty your thimble. There are as many mind-quieting practices as there are different styles of bathing suits. Find one that fits you and start swimming in the ocean of self-discovery. All the best. John.